a small amount of people keep drawing because they love to draw. Very few people visualize data because they love visualizing data. Very few people map processes because they love mapping processes. And very few people learn new skills and tools because it's the skills or tools that they love. The point I'm trying to make is that learning visual thinking isn't your goal. It's the things that visual thinking will allow you to accomplish more quickly on your own or with a team that's important. I believe the same is true in building skills and habits in visual thinking. You need to find ways of practicing visual thinking that fit what you already love to do. The easiest place to start practicing is by visualizing the information ideas that you come across in your existing behaviors. You've learned to draw some visual elements, some icons, and how to filter text into visuals. So let's start with your reading and writing behaviors. Do you journal? If so, this is a great place to practice your visual thinking. First, get a post-it note and write plus visual thinking on it. Now place that post-it on the current page of your journal, and as you fill the pages, move it to the next current page. Whenever or wherever you're journaling, whether it be in a notebook or in a mobile tablet, do all the same steps that you typically do, except leave two to three inches of space down the left or right side of your page. After you're done writing, go back and reread. Turn on your text to visual filtering and see if there's anything important in there that you can visualize and draw a little something off to the side of the page that you left open. As you do more of this, instead of waiting until you complete a whole page to add visuals, add the visual after completing a relevant paragraph or sentence that's important. Eventually, you'll start adding visuals as you write or even replacing some of the writing with visuals. Do you read much? If so, are you used to taking down notes, underlining, or highlighting blocks of text? While journaling already implies some sort of notebook or uh, canvas to write on, I'm going to ask you to add notebooks to your reading habit. First, we want to latch on to our physical behavior. So where do you read? The breakfast table with a newspaper? Favorite chair next to a bookshelf? In bed, scrolling through social media? If there's a location you like to read in, keep a notebook there. The benefit of a notebook or a sketchbook is that they are inexpensive and you can keep multiples around your home or workplace. If you prefer a mobile tablet, you may be like me and you keep that with you wherever you go. If you read at many different times in various places, uh, working your way through a book or newspaper or magazine, uh, then you may want to keep a notebook with your reading material, even rubber banding them together. Now let's transfer your note-taking behavior to the notebook. Instead of underlining or highlighting text or writing in the margin, let's copy that text or summarize that text in our notebook. Now, how would you visualize it? Not only will this help you practice your visual thinking while doing something you enjoy, but it's gonna help you remember each and every one of those key quotes or pieces of information that you pull out of that book. If reading or journaling is a habit that you've wanted to adopt, but it's never quite stuck for you, then maybe visual thinking would help you uh, add a kinesthetic and visual element to motivate you, help you look forward uh, to doing more of it. Another great place to practice your visual thinking is in meetings. If you attend meetings and you take notes, then add the step of visualization. Go ahead and write the notes as you usually do, and where there's a lull in the conversation, go back and add a visual element. Or, if you like to review your notes after the meeting, that might be a good time to turn on your filter and add the visual element. If you write down an important date, add a calendar icon. If it's an important time, then a clock icon. These will help you easily transfer information from your meeting notes into your calendar uh, on your computer later on. If you have a set of tasks, draw them out in the order that you plan to complete them. If you have something to research, use a mind map to draw the idea in a center node and then branch out to the different places that you plan to research, people you want to ask, or other side topics that would be relevant to explore. In addition to using visual thinking in the suggested ways above in your journaling or reading or meeting notes, I highly encourage you to keep a notebook with you at all times in your bag or in your coat pocket or at your desk. 
The ideal is that you have something with you so you can jump into visual thinking whenever you choose to. These simple ways of inserting visual thinking into your daily habits may feel like small steps, but every time you use visual thinking, you build your capabilities and confidence to apply it in your work and your life.